Hi, I'm Lauren Bacon with PickFactor.com, joined by former Washington Redskins running back Liddell Betts. We're here to talk about a hot topic in media right now, Michael Jordan versus LeBron James. Who is better? So Liddell, Michael Jordan recently turned 50. His birthday has kind of brought him back up into the media spotlight. Tell me, what's one of your favorite childhood Michael Jordan memories? Wow, so many. Um... I grew up a Michael Jordan fan, I have to say that, I have to be honest. Um, he made me like the Bulls from day one, but um, I have to say the tongue wagging, you know, the tongue sticking out of his mouth, the flying through the air, you know, Sir Airness. Um, everything about Jordan I was a huge fan of, from the championships to the, the game-winning jumpers at the end of the game. I mean, his whole career to me is a legacy in itself, and I think he's the best basketball player to ever play the game. Okay. And did you own any of his memorabilia, any of his jerseys or his coveted shoes? Unfortunately, I did not. I grew up with not a lot of money, so I wasn't able to afford them. Yeah, they were pretty stuff. pricey. <laughs> <laughs> but I did work at Finish Line when I was growing up, and I remember um, we used to get the, the Michael Jordan shoes a little, yep. couple days early before they were released, and people would come from all over trying to stop in the stores and ask, hey, when are the Jordans coming out? And, hey, not till Saturday, but... I mean, the whole Jordan phenomenon with his shoes and his legacy itself, I mean, it was crazy during that time period. Yeah, definitely. So the comparison between LeBron and Jordan has been uh, uh, flying around a lot recently. If you were playing in a pickup game and had to choose one of them to play on your team, who would you choose and why? <laughs> who would I choose? I'd have to go with Jordan. But let me let me go backwards a little bit. I am a huge LeBron fan. I think he's the best player in the game right now. So – I don't want to say this like I don't like LeBron, but if I had to choose, and you asked me to choose, I have yeah. to go with Jordan. Jordan is, um, I mean, he's the ultimate basketball player that ever played the game. He, you know, six NBA championships, uh, finals MVP in each championship. So at the highest level of his profession, he won at the highest level. And not only did he win, but he was the MVP, which says to me that he showed up and there was no question who the man was in those, in those uh, championship series. Okay. I'd have to agree with that. So in your opinion, does LeBron even deserve to be compared to Jordan, considering that he hasn't even surpassed Kobe Bryant? Uh, short answer, no. Long answer, I, I do understand why people make the comparison. I mean, he is the best player in the game right now, arguably. But how soon we forget just last year he was being compared to Kevin Durant in terms of who was the best player in the league. Now he wins one championship and we're ready to elevate him past Jordan? I don't think so. I mean, he's not even past Kobe in my opinion. Kobe has five rings. He's, uh, he's been league MVP. He's, uh, he's proven himself. His legacy is established. LeBron is still trying to get there. And in terms of Jordan, I mean, six NBA championships, six finals MVPs. Uh, his jersey is retired by the team by which LeBron actually plays for right now. And Jordan never even played for the Miami Heat. That just shows you how much respect Jordan has and uh, his legacy continues to live on. So, uh, no, he does not belong in that comparison. Okay. So we haven't really heard their names come up in the mix in this debate yet, but do you think that Larry Bird, Magic Johnson have a role in this discussion? I do. Um, when you talk about Larry Bird and, and Magic Johnson, uh, both, I mean, they're, they're pretty much together. You can't talk about one without the other. Um, they basically single-handedly together saved the NBA. You know, you know, the NBA is responsible for where they are now because at the time the NBA was starting to fall off the map. They didn't have primetime television. These two guys made people that weren't even NBA fans tune in to see who was going to win between the two of them. And um, their numbers speak for themselves. Five championships for Magic, three for Bird, uh, numerous MVPs between the two of them. Uh, they both belong in the conversation. And I think LeBron actually compares more to their style of play than he does to Michael Jordan. Is LeBron more athletic? Yes. But uh, better basketball player, better legacy? Uh, that remains to be seen. Right. That was going to be my next question was in terms of playing how they compare, how uh, Larry Bird and Magic Johnson compare to Jordan and Kobe and LeBron. So I've also heard a non-basketball Michael Jordan comparison, Robert Griffin III. RG3 took the NFL by storm last year and is creating a huge brand for himself. Do you think that he has the overall star potential to become the next Michael Jordan level athlete of this era? I think he's a heck of an athlete, and I think um, his brand speaks for itself right now. I think he had the highest selling jersey this season for uh, all NFL players, so that's a huge accomplishment. But to try to um, put yourself in the category with Jordan, is that's a huge feat. 
but he's definitely on the right track. I mean, he's got the um, the charisma. I mean, he, he's good in front of a camera. He knows how to speak, and his play speaks for itself as well on the field. He handles his business, and uh, he's led the team to, to the playoffs in his first year. So he's on the right track, but he's still got a long way to go to uh, try to get up to Jordan status. So my last question for you, Liddell. There's a lot to choose from, but if you had to choose one, your top favorite Michael Jordan commercial. I think my favorite one would have to be um, by Gatorade. And, and to me, it's an iconic commercial for any athlete. And uh, at the time, Jordan was at the at the height of his game. He was the largest star in uh, all of sports, arguably. So, And it goes a little something like this. I'll just recite the words for you. If you know him, feel free to follow along with me and sing along. But it goes a little something like this. Sometimes I dream that he is me. You got to see that's how I dream to be. Boom, boom, boom. I dream I move. I dream I grew like Mike. If I could be like Mike, I guarantee you LeBron and all those other guys know the word. <laughs> Again, I'm joined with former Washington Redskins running back Liddell Betts. Liddell, thanks so much for being here today. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Of course. And please make sure to go on to pickfactor.com and check out our brand new NBA page. Again, this is Lauren Bacon with pickfactor.com.